This is one of the biggest problems you're going to run into when building a set of stairs with a landing, and that will be to forget to deduct for the thickness of the floor sheathing when figuring your landing height. I've even done it before and more than once. So um, if you are going to build a set of stairs like this and you don't want your stair stringers to be messed up, pay attention. So here we have a set of stairs where everything is perfect. The joint here is tight and the step is going to be horizontally level. That is because we did subtract for the thickness of the floor sheathing here and put it in the right spot. But if you didn't, and you have the top of the floor framing at the same height that the steps should be, the top of the steps, then you're going to end up with a situation like this. And the stair stringers are not going to be happy. So I went ahead and I raised the ledger just to give you an idea. We're three quarters of an inch off the thickness of the floor sheathing. So the stair stringers, this is the position they would need to be in if they were positioned correctly. But you can see where we have a problem here. So we would either end up, if we put the stair stringers in level, we would end up with a riser, a last riser here that would be three quarters of an inch larger than the other ones. And it's kind of what it would look like. It would still be tight. But this won't be the case if we raise the ledger up and raise the stringers with it. We are going to create a step that is going to be leaning towards the front. It's going to be leaning down towards the front and uh, creating a stairway that's going to be out of level. I went ahead and I drew a horizontal line. You can see this is how much it's out of whack. My guess is it would be out about an eighth of an inch. Now this problem will get even worse if you have smaller um, stairways. So for example, if you have a stairway that's only going to go up three steps and you make this mistake, your stair treads could be out a half of an inch. If you have a set of stairs that's, that's a t total of 20 steps, you have 10 steps on the bottom, 10 steps on the top, you'll hardly even notice it. Um, another problem will be with thicker floor sheathing. If you're using inch and an eighth plywood and you make this mistake, then these steps are going to be off a little more. So pay attention. Do not forget that I have a book also on this that is very helpful. And uh, I would suggest checking it out. If you are going to build a set of stairs, it will walk you through it step by step. Um, throughout the book and uh, provides you with some different examples also for some different types of stairways that you can build. I would also suggest getting um, the book with the stair stringer layout as part of the double book package and I will put a link in the comment area to that double stair building book package because it provides you with different ways to lay out the stair stringers.